The Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast on demand. If you come to our show for uh, bathroom humor, uh, I hate to have this be a spoiler for as much as we've built this up as Emily the Pooper, but there's no actual bathroom here. Oh, no. It's It's nature of the bathroom. It's 99.7 DJX. A little setting the bar. If you can manage to make it through the day without using the I have to poop excuse on police after being pulled over, you're doing okay. Ah, haven't we all tried that one? (laughs) I don't know. Have we? I shake my head no. I mean, I've used several excuses after being pulled over. I think I've been probably pulled over more times than you have, but... Uh, I've I've used the I was trying to get around trucks be- before we entered this construction zone. Yeah, I, I've used the I'm late for work. Valid. I, I've used the I thought it was yellow or it was turning yellow and I wanted to get through the light. Did, I, it, did any of them work? Uh, no, I've used. Uh, yeah. No, I'm sorry. The construction, the trucks in construction that actually worked. I got off with a warning. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. See, I was, the last time I think I was pulled over, I was super duper duper pregnant Mm. and was just going like maybe 10 over on River Road. I did not get out of it. Nor did I try. Well, I was just, you know, I owned up to it. Sorry, that that was my bad. Well, Emily led officers on a bit of a high-speed chase last week. She was stopped for not wearing a seatbelt, immediately had a list of excuses when she realized, oh, yeah, Emily, she wasn't carrying a license. There's reason why. She wasn't Why? carrying a license. It was suspended, and uh, she has a, a little bit more legal troubles just than that. Uh, so then she was like, I got to poop. Ah. Uh, and then, the, yeah. The, and it's like, when you got to go, you got to go. Yeah. And, and the officer. Really no control in that. Right. The officer was all like, okay, um, well, see, so still here's. Here's here's you know your your license is suspended. She was like, see ya, and so they ended up pulling her over again, putting her in cuffs, and then again she's like, hey, gotta poop. They're like, hey, still gotta poop. You're gonna have to sit in the back of this patrol car and, and oh. head head downtown. And then they were like, hey, by the way, you still gotta go. And she was like, nah, feeling past. Okay, that's not really healthy for you either. So, I mean, again, if you came to this show in the hopes that you were going to get some weird sort of mess in the back of a patrol car, sorry to, s- to spoil your fun, uh, it was just an excuse, as Emily is our subject in our setting the bar story. We're proud of her, though, for not making the situation worse. I feel like that would have been worse <laughs> yeah, had because, she just let it go. Yeah, there are uh, several times in this show where these stories have different endings. I mean, we've already nicknamed her Emily the Pooper, even though she did, in fact, not poop. <laughs> no, exactly. So. <laughs> I think that, that maybe that's at fault, that we're at fault for that. Like, maybe, may, maybe we shouldn't be so quick to label maybe her. that was premature. Emily the Pooper. She's Emily the would-be Pooper. <laughs> maybe we tweak that a little bit. Either way, these stories have a way of following you. So maybe, yeah. Yeah, so again, setting the bar. If you can manage to make it through the day without using the I have to poop excuse on police after being pulled over, you're doing okay. I'm, good try, though. I might suggest getting around trucks to avoid them uh, sitting behind them. Oh, that's ent- the one that works? Entering a construction zone. Okay. Maybe maybe use that one. <laughs> and maybe also say Ben Davis suggested it. <laughs> ben Davis told me to tell uh, you this. All right. That's setting the bar. <laughs>